well, everybody was looking up at the uh, at the air watching the team and, and, the, and the first four or five parachutists coming down. They were heading for the target zone. Um, but then we became aware of um, one parachute. It, it just seemed to collapse. And um, almost instantaneously, the parachute above it uh, managed to hook on to the, um, to, to the webbing or the parachute itself. And we were... You know, everyone was aware there was a huge audible gasp went round the crowd because these two guys were heading down to the ground at a, well, it was a breakneck speed. It was two or three times the normal speed of descent. Um, but they were veering over buildings and land and crowds. And, um, and to be honest, we, it, it was breathtaking to watch the skill of the, the, the chap above. He managed to steer with the, the weight of two men in a flailing parachute. He managed to get them safely in the water at the north end of the harbour. It was, it was quite incredible, to be honest. Absolutely extraordinary scene. And do we know what happened in terms of the parachute malfunction? Parachutes often have a reserve chute. Do we know if that failed as well, or, or do no, we have any more details? No, the reserve chute didn't fail. They, they, what happened was they, they, those two particular members of the team were about to head into. What happened was they, they, those two particular members of the team were about to head into um, a manoeuvre called a stack, where one appears to stand on top of the other. Um, but as they manoeuvred into position, for some reason, the parachute just seemed to, to, seemed to uh, collapse. The webbing um, of the parachute tangled up around the arms of the lower parachute member. Um, so he was kind of stuck in a, a, a rather uh, awful bondage situation, a thousand feet in the air. But they also realized they were, um, they were far too close to the ground to uh, pull the reserve chute. The only chance that fella had of living was the skill of his team member who managed to hook him and, uh, and steer him to safety in the water. Amazing. And, and have you heard what the two parachutists did after they landed on the ground? Uh, you know, what was their yeah, reaction? Well, I, I raced up the harbour to, to, to see if they're all right. I mean, obviously, you, you, you do panic about things like this happening. But the lads came out of the water and, and they were aware that we had pie and peas and a pint waiting for them. And that was all they were bothered about. You, to, to be honest, it's typical British Army. The guys are so cool, so professional. They, they, they actually stood for photographs in dripping wet uniforms. Um, they're just, just fabulous people. And, and yeah, as I say, I, I can say.